When I wanted to cut the box joints for this workbench, I couldn't find my 48 tooth gear for the jig. And then I realized I sold that with uh, the other jig that I had sold, so I had to make a new one. And this time I cut the bottom of the teeth actually on the table saw. And I realized I could probably cut the entire gear on the table saw. So that's what I'm going to try in this video. Here's my template and the piece of plywood to use. And I've set the compass to a bit more than the radius of the gear. Now I have to find the spot for the center of the gear. Okay, so I can go right here. I need to set my jig to the right radius. Now I have to line this up exactly with the middle. And I'm just using a light to do that through the hole. I'm getting too much chip out in the back and that's getting caught up on the slot. I figure a zero clearance backer board should help that a little bit. Much less chip out now. With most of the space between them cleared out, now I have to carve the sides of the teeth. I got better at following those contours of the teeth as I went along. And I still need to smooth it a little bit and round the bottom edges for it to work well on the jig. And that can be done by hand, but I'm just going to use my belt sander. By the way, in addition to locking the sled in position with this little thing, which is just a T-nut that fits in the slot, I also used a bunch of magnets to uh, lock this thing in place, which forced all the sawdust to go into the saw. It still needs a handle for turning it by. Now there's one mistake I made with this gear, it runs rough compared to this other gear. And the mistake I made, I forgot to enter the tooth spacing, which is supposed to be 1.6 centimeters, but the gear program defaults to 1.5. So they still mesh, but uh, even with this right angle gearing being kind of a kludge, the correct tooth spacing really matters. This one just runs so much better. And if cutting out gears on the table saw strikes you as a little bit too dangerous, a few years ago I also made a video about uh, cutting out these gears with a jigsaw. I'll add a link for that. <laughs> 